I'm out at my canvas cabin in the woods, as I like to call it, and uh, the whole idea of this was to have a base camp for my adventures, and uh, this is the first adventure that I've done since I set it up, so I'm pretty excited. Um, I'm going to go out and do some deer hunting today. I Last time I was out here, I scouted out an area with the dogs, and there's a ton of white-tailed deer, a lot of activity um, in this area, so there's nice hardwood bush with a clearing not too uh, far away. I can hike there. Um, I have my... Um, climbing stand because I haven't uh, been to the area I don't have any um, stands set up so when I was out here I, I did a walk through and uh, found some areas that I thought would uh, potentially be a good spot to uh, to set up so to be mobile I have my climbing stand and if you haven't uh, ever done any hunting or you're just curious to see what it's like I'll show you um, when I set it up it's, it's a pretty neat device to any pretty much any tree I can climb up as long as there's no branches so um, last time I was out there I looked around and there's uh, some straight trees that uh, would be perfect for my climbing stand so I'm gonna go out there with my compound bow winter's not far off it's uh, I'm gonna get some hunting in before the snow comes and uh, yeah should be a lot of fun so uh, thanks for tuning in and uh, wish me luck so I'll let you know how things go
well for a first adventure this was uh this was uh this was a good one unfortunately <laughs> it's exciting that's bow hunting it doesn't always end well uh i'm <laughs> look at me lie to you this is uh it's it's upsetting it's crushing i don't know what the footage looks like i'll have to um have to look at it i had uh my other camera hooked up to my bow and um yeah we'll see i had a doe come in um i'm standing uh in my stand looking to the right and um i got some flash of something moving and i saw a doe making her way uh, from behind me um along through the bush and then uh saw i saw a buck i didn't want to move too much and uh just try to turn around a little bit to see what was coming up and uh, I got a flash of uh, antler and, and uh, it was a big buck so oh, I just uh, stayed nice and calm try to get my bow off the hanger holding my bow get in place stand up without making too much noise and uh, the doe didn't win me I, I had the wind in my favor it actually was going just as planned and uh, the doe was just making away nose down saw the buck following her and um, suddenly the buck looked at me I could, it was actually staring right at me in the tree it just froze and I, a, a mature buck like that it was at least uh, it was a good 8 pointer if not a 10 pointer and uh, he just stared at me and then he eventually put his nose down and started following the doe and uh, so the doe suddenly took a few steps and uh, took off so I thought the buck was going to follow her so there was a tree in my line of sight so when the buck got behind there I drew back thinking that the buck was following her and uh, would come into my shooting lane so I drew back my bow is a 70 pound bow uh, draw um, 70 pound 70 pound draw and I usually keep it at 63 64 um, so anyways as soon as the the buck came behind the tree I pulled back and <laughs> yeah he stopped all I could see was his antlers and horns just um, sticking out behind the tree and I I don't know why he stopped if he heard me draw back my bow or whatever I mean that's how they get big I guess so he uh, yeah he stopped and I was at full draw hoping that he would just take a few steps and um, yeah I mean I've been bow hunting for a long time but I, I don't think I screwed up this way before and uh, so I'm at full draw waiting and I just start shaking and shaking and uh, had to um, had to let up while he was nose and antlers sticking out from behind the tree. It's only 25 yards. It would have been a slam dunk. And when I let up, doesn't he step out from the tree? Yeah. And broadside shot would have been perfect. And uh, I tried to draw again, and I, I didn't have the the strength in me. I, I mean, it felt like 10 minutes I was trying to hold that full draw. So uh, yeah, that's uh, that's bow hunting. I mean, the highs are high and the lows are low. I got back to the tent here and just uh, this is why I got beer <laughs> so that was a tough one um, but if that's a, a sign of things to come it'll be an exciting time here so yeah that's uh, the first adventure it turned out pretty good thanks uh, thanks for watching and uh, we got another one in the books cheers